Hi. So in the previous video, we were able to fetch all the records in our database using this particular route in our home.js. And now what we want to do, we want to create the product component which will be reusable, reusable, and we will use that inside our loop in here. But before that, I want to do a little bit of cleanup. So in the navbar, I don't want these to be in here, the greeting link and the testing link. So I'm going to save that should be gone from now and in the app.js oh I have already cleaned up that so I have just removed these handle click connect and handle we don't need these so I have removed them and after that now we can focus on our product.html and I also want a product.css file in here we have to say img and for the image we want maximum width to be 100 percent and or you can use only width and height to be 300 pixels we are also going to implement the card class and okay we are implement that after that but in the product or html let's get started so for here you're gonna say class text slds text align this text align center and also before that in the home I want a heading which will be class of SLDS text align center and SLDS text heading large and I want that to be like latest products it should show up here yep and we can remove this from here right now we can just have this so it should yep and in the product HTML we want a div for the image so for the image we want a for the border we will say 3px solid and RGB of 217 not 2017 just 217 217 sorry for that and I want a little bit of padding padding of 10 px I guess and then image we are get we will get the image from where from the product.js here it is product so for now we can remove that product dot image and it will be like product and for the image uh, we're gonna style that in our product.css but not now we want another div for the name so for that SLDS text heading text align center it should be up and also SLDS text heading medium for the medium we want product.name and after that we're gonna copy this paste it in here just change the medium to large for the price product price and I wanna wrap this all inside LWC a link so we can you know it will be clickable and we will be route redirected to this particular product and in the href we want the link so for now we say prod link and we will create that prod link in our product.js what we wanna do we wanna say prod link this dot return return and we are not gonna use sorry we will use the tilde tilde I would say and slash products slash dollar sign so dynamic value this dot product question mark why we have used question mark so if the product is not null if the product is truthy truthy means it's not null and defined there is something in this product only then fetch the ID so so it's not gonna throw us the error if the product is null or empty or undefined and in here we also wanna say template because we just wanna show this only and only if there is something in the product 
and after that after that I wanna wrap this inside the div where class will be no class okay class will be SLDS M M for margin and I just want the margin for the top so stop medium and I want a little bit of styling and a style just background color of black and the text color of white and I wanna wrap this inside a div which will be our ca card class so for that I'm gonna say class card class and we're gonna define the styling in our product.css so in product.css we have that card class so for that card class I want padding of 10 px I want the border radius of 10 pixels I want the box shadow of 0 8 px 16 px and 0 and RGB 0 0 0 and opacity of 0 0.5 and I want a little bit of animation like transition so I'm gonna say transition transform 0 0.5 seconds and I want that to be on hover so for the hover we're gonna say transform scale 1.1 so it will be zoomed whenever we are going to hover over it and I guess that the product is ready this component ready to be used in here so what we're gonna do we will just call now product and let's see what it's rendered okay so it's not rendering the properly let me fix that so why it's not rendering because we haven't passed the product in here pro this pro for each item we are passing the product and it will it will be in here product and then we will be able to see these products I guess and I hope yep it's rendering that properly but we have to do some we have to use SLDS for you know rendering it properly side by side using the SLDS grid system so for that what we're gonna do we're gonna say div of class before the for each template SLDS grid and SLDS wrap wrap so it's gonna wrap whenever the we are in the mobile view and for each product we want a column so for that we will say SLDS call SLDS size of SLDS in the small screens one of one we want single product but for the medium and large we want SLDS medium size uh, maybe 4 of 12 and similarly for the large screens and I want a little bit of padding too so SLDS P around uh, medium and I guess that it should now work yep so I guess that now it's rendering properly and if you go to the mobile view it should show only single product yep it's rendering properly and it looks beautiful I think so and on the click of this this link should be this should just redirect us to this particular product it's all yep we can get that we are here so but why not why we are not getting redirected because we haven't defined the routes in our not this one in our app.html yep here so what we can do we can do something like okay well then I guess that's it from this video we will do that in our upcoming videos well thank you so much